What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. Today we're going to react to Community Season 5, Episode 12, Basic Story. Last week was the G.I. Joe episode, G.I. Jeff, and I believe that was my favorite episode of Season 5 by far. Maybe it was a nostalgia, but just the way they did the episode was beautifully done. Mwah, chef's kiss, and I loved it. So now we got two more episodes left in Season 5, and then it's on to the final Season 6. Before I get into this one, if you want to see my full uncut reactions, please check out my Patreon. I have a lot of stuff up there. I think I have like 600 videos. There's something for everyone and it'll help me greatly. So let's get into this one in three, two, one, go. So according to the demonologist, the gymnasium is clean. Gee, nice. we're running out of to-do stars. <laughs> Call contentment, dude. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're never content. Someone's always got to have a problem. <laughs> got a problem. I don't like Abe's problem with our lack of problems. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I commented on his and I just noticed, look at Chang, he's part of the group, just like he wanted. Peace and stillness, they're kind of rare around here. Mm -hmm. I pressed this button on accident, but <laughs> might as well check in. How are you? I love you guys. Sweet, sweet Dean. Board, baby. Damn, look who's Hello, back. It's been Hello. a while. I would appreciate some knocking. <laughs> it would be funny if they were playing crazy cupcakes, just like in Brooklyn Nine Nine. We're just relaxed and happy. I care more about this than anything I've ever cared about. <laughs> Best hundred ninety nine dollars I've ever spent. Save Greendale Committee Unite. Boom! An insurance appraiser is coming tomorrow to inspect the school. Uh, Dude, and this makes a bit happy. Adventure? What's an insurance appraiser? Their blood's different. Darker. Everyone <laughs> take a breath. Because this school is addicted to crisis. You're like one of those hurricanes. Who's going to be the appraiser the is the question. Anyone... Annie, we need to make a particle accelerator out of Kleenex boxes. Nope. Nobody do any of that. Hmm. Who's going to be right in this one? I'll bet or Jeff. Because if this appraisal is a story, that means we're in trouble. And mm -hmm. we are not in trouble. And why does he have to do it by himself? No more stories. Because no. Donald Glover left. So. so be it. Let the lack of story... Be a story. <laughs> so wedding ring? I lost this my first week here. Oh, who's the lucky... Person. <laughs> I started wearing it because, I don't know, everybody dreams of settling down, right? I don't know about Jeff. This inspection is going to be the most boring thing to happen here since Britta dated Troy. <laughs> right, no story. Wait. Is that also a season no uh, uh, four dig? I'm in a story. Hi there, my name is Ronald Muhammad. Go ahead, I've heard uh. them all. A party is a person or a group of persons or an event celebrating a person or a party of persons. Birth. Mm, this guy is both boring and basic. Wait, wait, wait. Story feeds on conflict if I stop resisting. Who does he see? Story. No, Abed. Oh, Lord. He's... He beard. Keep fighting the story. Ooh, looks pretty. He's sturdy. How much is this scampy little hole in the earth going to cost us this year? Well, Nothing. Your gas leak is repaired. Gas leak. We lead outside, <laughs> and I am told that no new species have been discovered here in a week. Hmm. At this point in time, I'd describe this campus as an actual property asset. Ooh. This property has value. It has value. <laughs> that means we can sell it. Can Dave Matthews. Is that Dave Matthews? Press stop on Dave Matthews. <laughs> the school is story free. We can be content now forever. Mm, I think a story just broke, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to kill himself. Let me be one of the We fixed it when we saved Greendale. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 Greendale, as you know, our school will soon be replaced by a sandwich university. Oh my god, also Subway is back? Sure, things may look bad now. <laughs> uh, may have no idea where we're going. Or 
What is going on? You want us to tweet Save Greendale? I'm sorry, Annie. The reason I have 48 followers is that I don't exploit them. <laughs> 48. Once the internet knows about something, it changes. Right. Yeah. Just ask Sometimes. Chris Brown or China. Or Jared. I know how to save Greendale. <laughs> treasure. Buried treasure. Huh? Are we sure we can't stop the school from being sold to Subway? I'm afraid so, Chang. Okay. <laughs> Gavel. <laughs> Screw you guys! Five dollar foot long. <laughs> any, any, any five. Too bad five it's not five dollars anymore. This shit is like twelve dollars. We hate this place. You just said you're proud of it. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of its potential. Flip flop. Your office. <laughs> Oh, poor Why? Dean. Funny they try to make him look puny and his abs are still popping. Well, bread is a substance. What do you call the units of bread you use? Breads? <laughs> Fucking <it>, Abed. <laughs> you okay? Here's our 1987 Civil Rights March. This was when we started offering Photoshop. <laughs> I was going to say, with JFK. Russell Orchard. Portrait, portrait, <laughs> computer. Yes, yes, more than women's. Chris Elliott. So after all my work, how will I be remembered? The bald <laughs> dean with glasses, I guess. <laughs> Who loves Dalmatians. And this frame that says the truth is behind this picture. Of course I'm aware, Abed. I'm not an idiot. No, look behind the picture. Literally? <laughs> <laughs> National treasure. What does it say? <sighs> Entitles you to five dollar footlongs for life. Oh Lord. For life, Mr. Winger. <laughs> what did either of us really get done aside from each other? Exactly. Uh oh. Leaving with. What's gonna happen in the study room right now? Let's get married. <gasps> what? Yeah. Right. Whoa. I mean, this is what matters. Dedicate an entire cabinet to grocery bags and realize we have a favorite brand of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Oh boy, I was not expecting this. We've never had sex on the new table. Mark yeah, two. two. <laughs> oh, come on. Lock the doors, close the blinds. So Abe was right all along. Meeting somewhere safe where no one can hear. Oh no! Double crossing Chang. Double crosser Chang. Where in Lincolnshire? Just a little town called Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe. I was stationed around Scunthorpe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God! Smocks I tarry through the hollyhocks and. Oh glen. my God. I lost my virginity at Stansbury. Oh, my no. mother was a Stansbury whore. Oh, my God. You may have slept with my aunt, <laughs> but <laughs> given the circumstances, cheers. <laughs> you and he would really oh, get along, shoot. actually. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? This was Basic Story, and I just saw the next episode. It's called Basic Sandwich. So we have a two-part series finale which again it, it does seem like they're trying to put an end to the series because they don't know if they're going to get their sixth obviously we do know they do get their sixth but yeah i could definitely see it now that they had probably no idea they were going to get renewed so they're like we have to be able to end it and also be able to bring it back so um, this is a good start it's kind of crazy full circle subway has been in greendale before obviously there was a subway shop uh, before it was Shirley Sandwiches, and now they basically have the naming rights to the school. So that's kind of crazy. Funny that Abed in the beginning mentioned a buried treasure. Like he just had nothing else, and that was the first thing on his mind. But he has like premonitions, I guess, because they read that note, and there is a buried treasure. But the question is, what will that buried treasure be? Because like if it's money or gold and it's just like more cash like they're not going to be able to buy out subway to take their school back right unless it's like something to blackmail someone 
I don't know, to be honest, what it could be to actually save the school. That's why I'm really interested in seeing what happens in the season finale. It could be anything. We got that little glimpse of Jeff and Britta, like really about to, I don't know if they would literally get married, but it sounded like they were serious about each other getting together. And I thought at the end of the series that Jeff ended up with Annie from what everyone said, but is he actually going to end up with Britta? That would be very interesting because again, they seemed like they were both really into it at that moment. And then the troublesome three hop in and ruin their little alone time. Pretty funny. It was funny to me when we saw the Dean on the floor crying, how, I mean, he is like a little guy when you see him. I don't think he's like six, five. He's, I don't know how tall he is, but uh, you know, up against Jeff, he's, you know, he's smaller. But like they try to make him look so kind of feeble and wimpy and sad on the floor. And he's still like obviously jacked. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, Chang double crossing them. It's Chang. You know, he could do whatever. I don't think there's anything in his storyline that would be a plot hole because he is mentally unstable to me. You know, from season one, he's nuts. Chang is crazy. So... If someone says, oh, his only goal was he wanted to be friends and he wanted to be part of the group and now he is and he double crosses them, it makes no sense. It would make no sense for a lot of other characters, but again, not for Chang because Chang doesn't really know what he wants. He is an opportunist, you know, so he sees an opportunity to somehow try to exploit Subway and make some money. He's going to do it. Like That's Chang. So this is perfect for his personality. Um, but it is funny to me that he got what he wants. He has a seat at the table. He's part of the group. Like he's been like crying about. And at the first chance of making a little bit of money, he's like, peace out suckers. I'm team Subway. So again, pretty, pretty funny. Jeff was offered a job at Subway. He got his little black card, free $5 footlongs for life. Will Jeff take the job? I highly doubt it. Jeff at this point End of season five has a lot more morals than he did in the beginning of season one. So don't think he's going to take it. He probably will use the card though, right? He's got it in his hand. Might as well take advantage of that. The funny thing to me though, just in the sense of community as a whole and streaming services, everyone banned Advanced Dungeons and Dragons because of, we all know why, you know? And this episode literally has Jared from Subway <laughs> a convicted pedophile in the episode. And not only did they not ban the episode, which I don't think they would have needed to ban the episode. They didn't even cut him out of the episode. Like that's nuts. I would expect them. It was only five seconds and it made no importance. It was like, didn't mean anything. It was just, Oh, subway took over. So Jared's here. Like we don't need that in here anymore. So Sony, whoever, I don't know. I got this downloaded this episode. I'll check like Netflix or wherever community is just to double check to see if they did replace Jared. But if they didn't, that's kind of suspect to me. Um, I think they need to clip that five seconds out. But basic story was a really good episode. It had a twist to me where I actually thought it was going to be boring. Like I thought nothing was going to happen. It was going to be a basic episode, but it did not turn out that way. And it's a fitting um, one of two to the season finale, which is basic sandwich, which again, I love how they end their seasons. And again, it's probably going to feel like a season and a series finale, but we all know that we are getting a season six. So all in all, I really enjoyed this episode. What did you all think of basic story? What do you think of my reaction and my thoughts? And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace guys.